Mickey Mellon on what Tranmere must do next and the problem he faces after Stevenage win. We don't just want the season to fizzle out, were the words of Mickey Mellon speaking ahead of Saturday's game versus Stevenage. Following on from Tranmere's 2 0 win over Dino Mamria's men, however, it's safe to say that Rovers' campaign has been revitalized. After suffering a third successive league defeat on Tuesday night, Tranmere could not afford to lose this game if their ambition was to remain with an outside chance of making the playoffs. But responding in impressive fashion, Mellon's side were deserved winners versus Stevenage, with goals from Kieran Morris and the free scoring James Norwood setting them on their way to a vital three points. While the Tranmere manager recently acknowledged that the playoffs were simply a distant dream upon the club's return to the Football League, only six points now stands in their way of entering the top seven once more. In order to turn this possibility into a reality, though, Mellon believes there are two qualities his side must harness. Mentality and consistency, said Mellon. Mentality is an ability. It's the ability to turn up every week, and people overlook it. The ability of mentality to want to win, want to perform well want to compete and do your job as an ability. This group have got to continue to do that, we've seen what they're capable of, we've got after them during the week and they've delivered on it. But they've got to keep doing it, they can't come off it, they've got to keep at it. The mentality was the big thing today, the really strong mentality from the first minute to the last to do their jobs really well, and being aggressive about making sure we delivered on them. It's something we've spoken about a lot recently. We won't let ourselves off the hook, never mind anybody else letting us off the hook. The mentality has got to be like that all the time, especially if you play here because the demands are high, and quite rightly so. It's such a fantastic football club, I demand of myself and the group all the time. In regards to developing consistency, he added, it will be back to work again. We will be expecting to perform well in the next game and win again. Those are the demands if you're a Tranmere player. Mellon named an unchanged side from the team that fell to a midweek defeat to Northampton something that highlighted the trust the Rovers boss has in his players. Key man, Ollie Banks, was available for selection, but could only settle for a place on the bench. Meanwhile, there was no room whatsoever in the matchday squad for striker Paul Mullen. January recruits Sid Nelson, David Perkins, Ben Pringle and Morris were all named in the starting eleven, as Mellon continued to call upon football league experience. And the Rovers boss was quick to admit that competition for places within the side is starting to become somewhat of a problem albeit for all the right reasons. It can take time to bet a group together, but as you've seen today, we work very hard in what we do. If you've got good players they will just play anyway. If you allow them to and understand their qualities, they can play in any team. They looked like they'd played together for a whole season today. We just felt like that was the best team to give us the opportunity of winning the game, added Mellon on his selection choices. I know I've got Johnny Smith and I know Connor, Jennings, has done well out there for me on the wing, but I think his best position is playing just off the striker like he did today. I want to keep him involved all the time down the middle. I wanted to try and bring in some more wide players to help Johnny Smith and get some balance to the team. That might change at other times, that's what having a squad is all about. We will keep everyone as fit as we can and when the opportunities come, take them, and they'll stay in the team. It's a problem that I can deal with, he said. It's a problem that I would welcome all the time. Give me loads of good players and ask me if I'm worried about that, joked Mellon.